September 13th last year, uh, a young woman by the name of Masha Amini, 22 year old from Kurdish part of Iran, was arrested in Tehran by the morality police. Imagine living in a place that have morality police for not wearing her hijab exactly right. Maybe a few strands of hair were sticking out. Maybe she was showing a little bit too, too much skin, according to the police. A few days later, she was dead. The official account was she had died of a heart attack, but it was clear that she had been beaten, beaten into a coma, and she died from that beating three days after the arrest. The next day, protests started in the Kurdish parts of Iraq, protests against the morality police, against what they had done to this particular individual, to this particular young woman. But soon those protests spread and they spread all over Iran. They spread to almost every city and town in Iran, to every university, and particularly in Tehran. Many of the universities saw significant massive protests, some of the largest Iran has seen. Uh, and the messaging started to change. Slowly, the messaging got expanded from beyond this one case to messaging around liberty, messaging around freedom, messaging not just around ending the morality police and allowing women to wear burqas. And indeed, in the demonstrations, the women were ripping apart the burqas, throwing them to the ground. If you've seen some of the videos, you can see young women, as young as 10 girls, often teenagers, taking their burqas off, often with their backs to the camera so that they cannot be identified. But sometimes out in the street where their faces can be seen and standing up to this idea, up against this idea that somebody else can dictate what they can or what they cannot wear. By September 20th, three days after, there were already clashes with police. There were the clashes with the military, with the uh, Republican Guard, Revolutionary Guard, sorry, Revolutionary Guard, and with the, all the different militias and segments in Iranian society that want to oppress and suppress any form of freedom and liberty. September 28th, this song went online. Um, it was produced by a singer-songwriter by the name of Shevin Hajipur. Uh, Shavin uh, was, before the song, was a darling of uh, the, uh, the regime. Uh, he had won a singing competition, uh, you know, like, uh, like on our television and won a singing competition and the regime thought his music was wonderful. Because within a day of this song going up online and being viewed by millions of people, Shavin was arrested. Uh, within three days, the song had been viewed by 40 million people. And uh, he was released on, quote, bail, primarily because I think the regime was afraid of how popular he was and the consequences of keeping him in jail, given how popular he is. The song itself, if you notice the little uh, uh, tweets underneath it, the song is composed by, a, he basically asks people, why are you protesting? What are the protests about for you? And then he picked pick and choose different sentences, different phrases from them and incorporated them into, uh, into the song. September 30th in Iran is known today as Bloody Friday, in particular in one city, Zahaidan, and I apologize for butchering the names. Um, uh, uh, the authorities there opened fire, killing at least 50 people. To date, at least 500 people have been killed in the demonstrations. Who knows how large the number really is, but at least 500 have been killed. Um, and demonstrations have continued since. On and off, different places, smaller places, larger places, uh, but they are ongoing, they're ongoing today. Part of the problem is that the Iranian regime has cut off the internet, has done everything they can to cut them off on the internet completely, so that it's very difficult to get videos out, to get information out, to actually know what is going on. On December 4th, the regime claimed that they were disbanding the so-called morality police, as a way to appease uh, the demonstrators, demonstrators continues because now the demonstration is not just about the morality police. It's about changing the regime. It's about death to the Ayatollah. It's about a true revolution. 
in terms of liberty and freedom and bringing, uh, bringing the ability to vote. Uh, and, and you know, it, it, it's got to the point where I, I, I think Puya, who is from Iran, said a few days ago, told me, said, it, it, it feels like a moral revolution. This is not just about politics. This is about people up standing up for their own lives, standing up to live the best, you know, lives based on their own choices. And it's not just the young anymore. It's their parents supporting them. It's, of course, not everybody in society, but it's a growing number of people within Iran are rising up against a theocracy that has ruled since 1979 and has ruled brutally, brutally since 1979. There have been uprisings before in terms of demonstrations and protests and so on. But usually those have been focused on a particular issue like economic stress. Never have the calls been, there have been so many calls. And so consistently across the board for actually replacing the regime, for actually seeing the downfall of the Ayatollah. Even religious Iranians now have given up on the concept of a theocracy. Iran today, I think a majority of Iranians, an overwhelming majority of Iranians are ready for something new and something different and something better. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.